What's going on YouTube? Wildline Games here, Super Mega Baseball finally has a release date, June 2nd for the next installment, Super Mega Baseball 4. There's been a lot of information that has dropped with this week since the reveal on May, three days ago. Three days ago they dropped a reveal trailer, there's been a ton of information, it's all over the web, it's not all in the same spot, so this video, what I've done is I've uh, spent the last couple days scouring the web uh, during back and forth from my commute to work and I've put, compiled it all together for you to come to one place and be able to get all the concrete information, nothing that's speculated, all facts that has been said by the developers. So one of the things that we all know is, is Metalhead is getting support from EA Sports uh, to help improve the game and provide resources that you know Metalhead Studios would not otherwise be able to get by themselves. Uh, there's been a lot of fear about what EA might do and microtransactions, but don't worry, it has been confirmed that there are no in-game purchases, no microtransactions for Super Mega Baseball 4. Round of applause, round of applause, people. That's great news, is what we wanted to hear. I think that was one of the biggest fears. MLB Legends, there will be over 200 MLB Legends in the game, and some people are upset. If you're one of those people that doesn't want to ruin the fictional universe that Super Mega Baseball has created over the last three entries, don't worry. The MLB Legends are completely optional. From my understanding and what it kind of sounds like they're saying in these articles is that playing and play, playing with and against these MLB Legends is like an optional feature in the game. Uh, the list of players has not been announced, but there are a handful of confirmed names. Uh, David Ortiz will be in the game, Babe Ruth, Hank Aaron, Johnny Damon, another Red Sox, uh, another Red Sox legend, and uh, Bartolo Colon, aka Big Sexy, also going to be in the game, and uh, along with you know 200 others that have not been confirmed. But those are your confirms. MLB legends, no current players, no current teams, no current stadiums, none of that. So some other confirmed features coming to the game is six brand new baseball stadium so we got six new ballparks coming bringing the total to 20 so there's now going to be 20 stadiums in the game and that means all 20 super mega teams are going to have their own stadium that's also a great feature and if you decide to get the ballpark edition of the game that comes with three additional stadiums as dlc one coming on launch day uh the next one i believe in like july the next one in august after that but that would give you nine uh, new stadiums if you decide to purchase the ballpark edition. Uh, some new gameplay features that have helped modernize the game. We're now going to have access to two-way players, uh, which means you can get your Shohei Otani on, man. And just make a dynamite pitcher and a uh, great batter who's just jacking home runs out the park. You can do that now available. Uh, the new rule with the extra base runner and extra innings is also going to be in Super Mega Baseball 4. And there's another feature that's called a shuffle draft. It's like a deck building feature in the game where people are able to create their own leagues and teams along with like several other parameters. It's very unclear what shuffle deck feature is, uh, but we'll get to that in one second. One last fact, the price of the game, $49.99. Ballpark edition is $59.99. And again, that gives you the three extra stadiums. And one more feature is cross play. Um, also, the game is coming to all consoles, that's Xbox One, PS4, Series X, PS5, PC, and don't forget, last but not least, the Switch. There's going to be a team chemistry feature, uh, not a lot of details on that, we just know that there's going to be team chemistry, which leads to these so-called manager moments. Uh, again, manager moments in franchise mode are not clear, so who knows if it's like a cutscene type of thing, like 2K and you have to pick like four options of what you're going to say. Uh, maybe it's just organic and running in the background, like these manager moments where these big time, you know, scenarios come up, but they're not displaying it. It's not being notified to you. It's just like the game's engine underneath it recognizes that. So uh, unsure of what manage management moments are, but they have the ability to like greatly increase or decrease team chemistry uh, and player morale during those moments. So that sounds cool. And alongside of that, there's going to be 55 new traits, uh, which makes a total of 75 traits. So these tra these player traits have both a positive and negative impact 
on players depending on what trait the player has. Some, not all players have traits. This was introduced in Super Mega Baseball 3. They had 20 of them, so now we're getting basically triple uh, the amount we had before. Shuffle Deck concerns me because it just reeks of Ultimate Team without saying Ultimate Team. Uh, they say it's, you know, you use it and it's like a deck building game thing where you build rosters and leagues. Like, I don't know, to me, it sounds very Ultimate Team. Now, they already said there's no microtransactions in Super Mega Baseball 4, but uh, this also doesn't mean that for Super Mega Baseball 5, we all of a sudden see microtransactions in there with this shuffle deck feature, which I'm not even really entirely sure what that means, but Pennant Race will return, and so will Franchise Mode. And I, uh, I say that in quotes because I'm not so sure the team in charge of franchise mode last year really knew what they were doing because there's a lot of features missing. You can't look at historical stats, you can't re-sign players, you can't draft players, you can't trade players. Uh, you can't even sign your own roster to a contract and have control. So at the end of the season, you have just like random dudes leaving your team or like retiring. And you have no prior knowledge to this happening. So you spend, you know, the budget, which is a cool feature, uh, on training players and then they just like straight up retire and you're like you don't get notified uh, so that's a, that was a huge bummer the bad news is there's still not trades in the game they're saying that the new sign and release feature from super mega baseball 3 has been greatly improved i'm hoping that we get information on some of uh, these couple dev diary we have like four dev diaries coming uh, leading up into the launch in four weeks so there's gonna be a lot more news coming out i hope we get to learn more about that um so we'll see what that means when franchise mode information is released but not having trades is a bummer and i am still eager to see uh what they do with franchise and i hope they've added like historical stat availability and like a, a feeling of accomplishment uh when you've won a championship they somehow things got worse from super mega baseball two to three and it was really just season mode with player progression and training uh like it just it wasn't nothing about it was franchise it didn't feel like there is history to the league you didn't look at your own team stats and like players career stats uh it was all just single season stats um you know winning a championship didn't feel like you accomplished anything and super mega baseball 2 there was nice details a team photo players had rings on if you win multiple the type of trophy that's in the team photo changes too and you lose all of that in Super Mega Baseball 3. And, you know, there's no rings on in the team photo. Uh, the the attention to detail just kind of like fell apart. And I, you couldn't draft players. Uh, you couldn't trade. Uh, you couldn't sign players to contracts. And then you also didn't have like historical stats and like the year to year cycle. It was basically just like creating a new season, but you got to train your players that you also since you can't sign players really because you don't really sign players you just pick up players in free agency and so that means like that every year your roster also changes so it's like what's the point of training these guys and spending money into them long term uh if you can't keep them and i don't know it was uh some interesting choices so i'm interested to see uh what they do with super mega baseball four is the point uh, and I'm excited to see that audio is going to improve. I mean, whew, franchise mode. Oh, I don't think, again, speculation, I'm assuming because they didn't say anything that we're not getting it. Uh, I don't think we're getting home run derby, uh, which is a bummer. We're not getting stadium customization, but apparently team and player customization has also improved a lot, which it was already pretty in depth. Uh, but it sounds like they've just added even more and more options for both. Uh, team creation and league creation and player creation uh, just no stadium creator uh, maybe maybe super mega baseball five in a couple years it seems to be on like a two-year cycle so that's it for me hope you enjoyed the video and uh, let me know in the comments what legends you're hoping to see and uh, what kind of franchise mode or other game mode features are you hoping to get in super mega baseball four stay tuned to the channel for more information and until next time peace